Good morning, good morning, good morning! I was checking my watch to make sure that my watch was uh, on silent and all of that. Let me get this shared into my Becoming Unlimited Facebook group, but good morning, good morning, good morning, y'all. I love, love, love this time of day on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. It gives me so much energy. I can't even tell you how many times I'm like sitting on the couch not wanting to do anything, and then it's time to come in here and do the daily drive, and my energy is here for it because this is my purpose in life. Welcome to the Daily Drive. If you are new here, the Daily Drive is just a worksheet that I created when I started to learn what I could do to be in control of my mind. I was diagnosed with anxiety in 2010 and really didn't have any idea what it was. Around 2019 or so, I started on my own intense personal growth journey where I was intentional about figuring out what I could do to live with my anxiety better. I take 60 milligrams of Cymbalta every single day to help keep my chemicals in check. Uh, and I do a lot of mindset things. And so when I learned that intentional thinking, goal setting, and gratitude can literally help us be in control of our mind and create the live the life, the life that we want. I was all about it. And so I created this worksheet. I bring information along with that three times a week. Um, and for some reason, y'all like listening to me. And so today is Monday and I love talking about motivation on Monday. So today is going to be no different. So welcome. Say hey. When you hop on, let me know that you're here. I love interacting with y'all. We're still in October, which is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So that's why I've still got the pink ears on. Remember to get your tatas checked. Uh, remember to take care of your body. October also, I realized or I found out, I learned this year is ADHD Awareness Month. So do a little bit of research on what ADHD really is if you need to. But happy October. Happy Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Get the tatas checked. Welcome to Motivation Monday. I'm going to get into it because I know that we're all here for the motivation help. Motivation starts in your mind. There is no amount of external cues or external triggers that will make you stay motivated. Yes, external triggers can help. Sticky notes, whatever it is, can help you focus on the right thing and stay on track. But the motivation itself is going to come from your energy being aligned on the inside. So motivation starts in your mind and it starts with unlimiting your thoughts. Because what usually happens is we've got all of these limited beliefs already in our mind. And when it comes time to get up and do something, whatever it is, those limiting beliefs kind of take over and talk us out of it, right? If you want to run a marathon and you've never done it before, you're not a runner, you don't know how it's going to go, those are the things that you start to think about, right? And talk yourself out of it. And those are limiting beliefs. So motivation starts in your mind with unlimiting your thoughts. So when you're getting ready to run a marathon, instead of thinking about all of the things that you're not sure about, Think about the outcome. Think about how great you'll feel when you're done. Think about the training that you've done that leads up to that, right? Motivation starts with unlimiting your thoughts. Now, sometimes, uh, I know that I have felt like this sometimes. In fact, I have felt like this a lot lately, and that's why I am in the middle of a relaunch, bringing the energy back. But sometimes, our goals can start to limit us. Sometimes we write down our goals and that's all that we're focused on so much so that we miss other things that are going on, right? We're focused on this one goal so intensely that we miss other things around us. We miss something we might have needed to hear. We miss something we might have needed to see. We miss a person that we should have met. Like we're so focused on this one goal that we're missing things that are around us. So sometimes 
our goals can start to limit us. And so what I want to give you the power of today, which I've kind of touched on a little bit before, because again, October has been this, this relaunch, bringing the energy back for me. But what I want to talk about is the power of reevaluating your goals, the power of reevaluating your life, the power of reevaluating your focus and what you are intentionally putting your energy into. There is power in taking a step back and looking at the overall picture. What I want you to do is to spend time being mindful. I talk about this a lot because mindfulness will keep you inspired. Mindfulness will keep you motivated. Mindfulness will keep you looking for the next new opportunity. And mindfulness is simply being present in the current moment. It is simply not worrying about the past or the future. It is simply being right here, right now in this present moment moment. That is all that mindfulness is. And so when we look at our goals, when we look at our focus and we spend time being mindful, being in the present moment, my favorite way to do this now is when my husband and I go to church on Sundays. Sunday is a Sabbath day for me, so I do less work. I do less social media engaging. I do a lot more resting. Uh, I do a lot of mindfulness practices and a lot of just getting my energy in check. So I spend time being mindful. When we go to church, we put our phones on do not disturb and we leave them in the glove box. Or um, like yesterday, there was an event after church. So we brought our phones with us, but still had them on do not disturb. Didn't look at them. I make it a point not to look at my watch and I make it a point to be present in church. I pay attention to what is happening. I listen to the message. I listen to the scriptures because that is where I feel refreshed. So when I go to church, I make it a point to be mindful, to be in that present moment, right? And that's with anything that I'm doing. Church is just the example of that. I make it an intentional point now to be mindful, to live in the present moment with everything that I am doing. And here is why, okay? Mindfulness affects your energy. I don't want to be leading my Girl Scout troop And thinking about something else that's going to take away my energy. I want my energy to be there with my Girl Scouts. So when I am leading my Girl Scouts, I am mindful of that time. And when I feel my brain or realize that my brain is drifting off into some other train of thought, I just gently bring it back and remind myself that right now is the time to focus on what I'm doing, right? So the first step for reevaluating is making sure that you're spending time being mindful. Put your phone on, do not disturb, take a walk, listen to music that centers you, do an activity that centers you, whatever it is, just spend time being mindful of the present moment. And when you realize that your brain is drifting into something else, bring it back to the current moment. Just remind yourself we're living in the present right now. There's another time to think about the other things, right? And I do this when I'm taking a walk, when I am talking to someone on the phone, when I'm at church, when I am at the grocery store with my husband and I just want to have 10 minutes of not worrying, right? I use mindfulness and redirecting my brain all day long. So mindfulness is one. Number two, write down your goals. A, there is power in writing down your goals and writing down anything. This is why journaling is one of my favorite things to do because there is power in writing it down. You are connecting all of the dots in your body. It's connecting your brain to your heart as you're writing it down. It's allowing you to focus your energy where it needs to be. So write down your goals, whatever they are. Dream big. Don't look at your goals and think, I'll never achieve that. Look at your goals and think this is where I'm heading because I dream big. So write down your goals. Make it a point. That is one of the sections on the daily drive is to at least write down your daily goals. These are tangible, achievable goals that you will cross off today. But also write down your overall goals. I made a goal board at the beginning of this year with with everything. I've kind of slacked on 
um, crossing things off and, and doing some of the things, but I wrote all of my goals down and when I'm ready to be mindful about it, when I want to go back and look at it, I can go back and look at this and see where I'm at, right? So write all of your goals down, make that connection. And then once you've written them all down, you can take the next step to make sure that all of your goals align with your energy and your purpose. Because tell me this, put a one in the chat if you have ever been working for someone else, working at a job, and you have, as an employee, a list of goals that you have to meet, right? And maybe that job is just there to pay the bills for you, right? So you look at that list of goals and there is no motivation in you to tackle that list of goals for your job because that job is just there to pay the bills, right? Tell me if that's ever happened to you because that's happened to me. Now, when you are doing things that are aligned with your purpose, when your energy is working from the place of your purpose, you will start to see that motivation and achieving these goals is easier because they're aligned with your purpose. So maybe you have a job to pay the bills, right? Give yourself some goals. Today, I am going to work this job with all of my energy so that I can further my family, whatever it is that your goal is, right? Look at it, write it down, then make sure that it aligns with your energy. If the goals that you are working towards don't align with your energy, if they make you feel less motivated, if they make you feel like you don't want to even do it, if they make you feel worse, whatever negative feeling you have about that goal is telling you something. It's in some way not aligned with your energy. And if you don't know what your purpose is, then the very first step to everything that I tell you on the daily drive is that you get to go on your own growth journey of who you are and figure out what your purpose is. Because remember, your life experience